everyone and welcome to the first ever live episode of Makeup Level Up. I hope you can hear the Hades music I have on in the background because I just think we all need to get into the vibe of slashing things, hacking things, and most importantly being in love with our wife Meg because I love her so much. Here she is, whoops, on this side right here. Um, I adore her, she's frosty, she's cold, she's got depth um, and she's got a whip which is the most important thing. But yeah, I decided that this week um, I wanted to have a look based on her because she's amazing and I kind of want to be her a little bit so I just thought we'd just go for it. Um, hello everyone, hey everyone in the chat, how are you all doing? I hope you're excited just for all the, you need to tell me if the music is audible because it has to be something that you can actually hear because you need to get in the Hades vibe. I am, yeah, Linon, I'm not wearing any makeup, the whole point is that all the makeup goes on on the stream. I have foundation on, I've done my brows, I've got some prep done on my eyelids. But mainly, this is just all about chilling and doing some makeup. Oh my god, it's so hot, 64 bits. Um, I'm just going to start with making my... We're just going to put our base colour on my eyelids. This is a fairly simple look, because otherwise I would be here for multiple hours on the stream. And, because uh, the videos for Makeup Level Up are long. Long, 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 which you'll know if you've seen them. Uh, and I often have to, like, really quickly scrub through certain bits of me pulling on makeup just to make sure you're not watching in a video that's like an hour, well not hour, like two hours long. So I'm gonna try and make sure that this look is one that's fairly easy to replicate and won't take you absolutely ages. So I'm putting gray on first. Yeah, waiting your food to finish cooking. Oh, I'm glad the music sounds okay, Angela. Excellent. What are you cooking, Claire? Something nice, I hope. But yeah, so uh, with this stream, not only am I gonna try and make sure that it's easy to follow along and something that all of you can do, but also I'm just gonna try and like actually talk when I put on makeup because usually I go super quiet because I'm concentrating. So uh, we're, we're gonna see how it goes basically. But yeah, so the reason I'm starting with this gray, I always see Meg's skin as being gray when it's technically like a blue. And I don't know why I can't see it as blue, but I've decided to work against my brain and we're gonna do, so I'm doing a gray like undercoat now. And then I'm going to put some blue tones on top of it to try and match her skin tone a little bit more. But the main thing is that I want it to match. She, she's, okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting too excited about Meg. The thing that's amazing about Meg is she has that like big like black eyelash right on the corner of her eye. And I have a plan for eyeliner that doesn't involve black. So instead I'm going to try and create like a diamond V shape here coming out that will mimic her eyeliner on the side. Oh, Robin, stop. Stop. Don't say that. you got to make sure my ego doesn't get too big during this stream, so no com no compliments allowed. Um, but I will be... See, look, there we go. We're trying to make this stretch out a bit further so that it mimics her, like, eyeline a bit. And then I'm going to get some black later on, some black eyeshadow, and just, like, make this a bit darker at the bottom. But yeah, so let's try and make sure... We want to make this a harsh like just line here so I'm not going up to my brow line very far at all because I wanted to kind of mimic her harsh look um oh I did a bad thing everyone I did a bad thing that you're not supposed to do with makeup I'm gonna tell you what that is right now I put on foundation before I did this which wasn't a good idea because then if you get any fallout from your brushes like there is slightly here it's much harder to get off because you've got foundation that will kind of stick to so just like give me a this Give me a hit with a whip. That's a little bit too kinky for a stream, but just like, don't do what I did basically. That's not a good idea. Hello, useless lesbian. The Meg look has arrived. It is coming, it is on its way. So there we go. The problem is I'm so pale. I am so pale that the gray doesn't stand out all that much, but we're, I'm just gonna try and just like absolutely layer on, just get to stand out a bit more. We got that there. And I'm gonna do a tiny bit on the bottom my bottom lid right about here just to bring it up because I'm also gonna do some black on here but I want it to look like it's semi blended into this bit we want this diamond here so let me just do this there we go so I've got a little bit under here now which just helps to prevent my like um, hang on a second I remember words in a bit it just helps to look more like you've kind of got more depth to the eye because if you just put eyeshadow on the top, no shade if you want to do that, but I find that if I just put eyeshadow on the top of my lid here and on the bottom, it just it doesn't look right to me. It looks a bit too much like Miz from 2000 and whatever the hell. Bonk. Thank you for that, lesbian. 
It is 9pm somewhere, Nightcat, so it's fine. It's absolutely fine. I know. Anonymous, is that a pun? That is totally a pun. God damn it! But Hades does have no woman like a fury scorned. What's all your favourite characters from Hades? I love Meg. And I also love... Oh my god, what's the name of her sister? The one with the pointy teeth. Typhine? Is that her name or is that the murder one? I cannot remember her name whatsoever. Al, Al A something? Oh, this is annoying. But whatever she is, she is like a little bit hard to predict. She's got sharp teeth and like a big ass ponytail and she's buff. And I also love her. She's amazing. As is um, Eury Eurydice. Uh, the one with like, looks like she's got a tree growing out of her head. Or like her hair is a tree. She's incredible also. So I'm just mimicking the same bit on this eye here with some grey. Electo! Thank you, Nightcat. Yes, I love Electo. I, I'm scared of her, but I love her. They, they can be... They don't have to be mutually exclusive, do they? Okay, so once again, I'm just doing the same as I did in the other eye on this one. We're going to create the same diamond shape uh, that Meg has on her side. And the great thing is, whenever I go in to dip in the eyeshadow, you can see that I'm... Uh, you can see the diamond on that side. So that's perfect. So let's just keep doing this. You have permission to yell at me if I put the makeup mirror in front of my eye. Like this. I'm gonna brush this a tiny bit, so I'm very sorry about that. Nyx! Lauren, how could I forget Nyx? I love Nyx, not just because of like the fact that she is exceedingly beautiful, but like her character in the game is stunning as well, in terms of her relationship with um with uh like most of the characters to be honest she's got such depth to her like i won't say any spoilers about the like story of the game in case people haven't got so far they haven't played or anything but nyx is absolutely amazing she's incredible she's just got so much um i got a lot of respect for nyx that's what i'll say without putting any spoilers in there we go so this we've got kind of a diamond going on here as well which is excellent that's what you want i also have a tiny bit of fallout but that's fine the good thing is that if I ever do a look based on Fallout, then all the Fallout from the eyeshadow will just be perfectly in place. It'll be great. I know, Kobe. Tisiphone is the one who I thought of at first, and I was like, mm, not the murder one, no. She's a bit too um, litchy for my liking. A little bit, you know? She is literally just skin and bones. I love the idea that um, Meg is the only kind of fury, like, really allowed in... Um, Hades is like palace is that the right word for it because she's in one the only one they can actually keep under wraps like they trust her to not like break shit and stuff I think that's really cool but um what one of the amazing things about Hades is oh Jay I'm sorry isn't the music so good though the music is amazing so I'll absolutely be doing if we reach the end of the playlist I'll just start it from the beginning but yeah what I love about um the game is that the more you play, you uncover so much story. So much story. So, like, you think it's one way, and then you, like, do your first run and keep going after that, and then there's just so much more to uncover. So much more. You do 64 bits. You should absolutely play it. Corvus, you thought I was talking about Nyx the makeup brand and not Nyx the character. You're in the right place, friend. The right place. Thank you for that super chat, Jay, as well. Thank you very much. Um... Is it pronounced Nyx? Because I always pronounce it NYX and now I feel like a bit of an idiot. It probably is Nyx, isn't it? So anyway, back to makeup. You can see that I've got the diamond shape on both sides. See? That mimics Meg's... Oh, okay, I can't reach over her, but she's got this, um... Like, eye sh eyelash, I guess you'd call it? Eyeliner that goes out here. So we're just doing these diamond shapes to mimic that. I'm going to add a little bit more on this side here, just on the edge. But I am trying to do this with a, uh, I very cleverly chose to do this with a rounded brush. Would have been cleverer to do an angled one, but it's not. Jesus. Oh yeah, by the way, I hope you all have water on you because it's so hot here at the moment. It's so hot. So it's why I'm in a tank top because, when I'm on because I wanted to wear one and also because it's so hot, I feel like my skin is like just sweating so much. I know, Kobe, the voice of Zag is also the composer. He's got, like, the voice of every single guy I ever went to secondary school with. Just, like, quite posh. 
uh, but I do love Zag, he's a babe. Okay, so here's the like grey colour going on. It looks slightly blue to me on my screen, but I'm still going to add the blue on, slightly um, blue, yeah, but I'm still going to add the blue on the top, but at the moment this is what we've got. So this is fine so far, I think this is the same kind of energy that Meg would want, it's just angles, and that's it, all the angles. Um, so on top, I'm going to get, I've got tons of brushes here. I'm gonna get um, this brush here, which is basically the same one. <sighs> Listen to that fucking music though, it's so good. Dionysus! Am I saying that right, Rhea? Dionysus is great. Um, I like Patrocles and, um, but is it Achilles? They're really sweet, they're amazing. So now I've got a very light blue on this brush and I'm just gonna kind of like stamp it on the insides and like work it a tiny bit up. Now that's adding like a very slight blue tinge that I really hope this camera is picking up. But yeah, we're just going to work that up from the outside. So it's grey on the very tops, but then it's got a blue tinge the closer it gets to the uh, the closer it gets to the eyelid. We try and mimic Meg's bluish skin tone. So we're going to do that here as well. I love this music so much. Like it just slaps. When you're like slashing it through Hades and everything is getting out of your way and you've got all your upgraded weapons and shit, the music just like hits you in a different way. It's so fucking good. Yeah, like no wonder the, the composer is the voice of Zag because he absolutely, de absolutely deserves like every single bit of credit for the game. It would not be the same without this. Oh, Laura Money, I'm so glad your aircon was fixed. God, I can't imagine. I don't have aircon and I'm having a really tough time, so I can't imagine how much hotter it would need to be for you to have aircon, so I'm very glad it's fixed. There we go. So that's added. We've got some more blue here. I'm just going to make it a bit thicker on the eyelid. Oh, Dionysus! Yeah, of course! He's the one with the um, with all the wine, isn't he? I like uh, Brosidon. Brosidon is amazing. The thing is, once one person called him Brosidon, it was like... Oh yeah! No, that's pretty much his vibe. Pretty much. And then we're going to put the blue on this eyeshadow as well. And this eye as well, even. Okay, this is already ending up a lot better than I thought it would look. So, uh, I'm proud of us. Okay, a bit more. But yeah. What was it? I think the, uh, I know Tidal Dash was one of the ones that, um, was super popular with Brasiden. Because it was really useful. Um, but I can't remember what Dionysus' abilities were. What were they again, Jay? But yeah, it's really cool. Oh, man. Let's put some more blue on. Yeah, I think this is, this is almost there with the blue, which is good. Once again, this look is like really simple. So like, even if you don't think you know tons about makeup or you haven't done it before, you can very much do it because it's basically just layering on different shades. There's nothing super advanced going on here. Yes, Kobe, the fun uncle. Brosidon is like the fun uncle. He lets you drink beer and is a bit needy. Yeah. The fact that he like turns up, hang on a second. The fact that he turns up with his trident like under his arms like this, it's just like, he's trying too hard to come off as chill. Bless him. Okay, so now we're gonna put, I'm gonna darken these bits here a little bit. So I've got a kind of like light gray color that I am so lightly gonna put my brush into because it will, really mess it up if I'm not careful. And then on the bottom here, I'm just going to do a line. There. And then I'm going to blend it upwards with my blending brush. Here. Music appreciation post, yes SF. Absolutely appreciate that music. There we go. There's a teeny tiny bit in the corner. Then I'm 
just going to try and buff this out a teeny tiny bit. Oh. The music is so good. So yeah, you can see there's like now a tiny, it just looks like on this side that it has a bit more depth because of that bit. So I'm going to do the same on the other side as well. Oh man, a funkle when I'm 64 bits. Yes, well done, a funkle. Isn't that, is that from Gravity Falls or something? Is it? Do it on this side as well. The music is so good. See, the problem is I'm enjoying the music so much I'm forgetting to actually tell you what I'm doing. There we go, on that side as well. Both of them, put a bit more in here. There we go. So now when you look, see, you can see that there's more depth on either side as well. And we're also gonna put some gray on our bottom lid as too. Just here, right on that lash line. Just gives it, a, makes your eye pop a tiny bit more. It's so hot, yeah. Everyone, you better all have water. If you don't all have water, I'm very disappointed in you. You're all commenting about how hot it is, so if you don't have something water next to you to keep hydrated, I can see you. I see you. little bit there. Should I tell you the music we got playing at the moment? Hang on, let's have a look. This is called The Painful Way. So I think this is Meg's vibe. Because she says, do you want to do the, the easy way or the painful way or worse to that effect? But when you're talking with her. So do the same on this side. Make sure your angled brush is actually the correct way around. There you go, it just helps. I would put some on my top lid, but I've got a plan for my eyeliner on the top lid that I don't want to mess up. But in lieu of that, I will be using some eyeliner. Some coal. And yes, there's a very professional way to get the lid off your coal pencil is just to pull it in your teeth and give it a yank. Absolutely. Scott, cider is not an acceptable substitute. God damn, get some water. Are you American? Because you might mean apple juice if you say cider. Whereas when I hear cider, I think alcohol. Now, alcohol is not a good thing for hydration. Okay. Sorry if you don't like eye things. I'm just putting some coal on the lash waterline of my top lid. And I'm going to put some on my bottom lid too, just here. Because it, look, it just helps to round out the eye a little bit if you have coal kind of just like framing it a bit more. And it also makes your eyelash um, eyelashes look thicker too. It makes them look like they've got more kind of body to them because instead of seeing your waterline when you look at your eyes, you just see the cold and it looks like your lashes are just a bit thicker. So there's one thing on this side as well. Um, I can tell you all a secret. I was like quite nervous about this, but you're also lovely. Not that I didn't think you weren't lovely, but like this is the first time I've done a makeup level up live, so it's always a bit nerve wracking being like, ah. It's like in front of Eurogamer, but um, you're actually being super chill. Not that I'm surprised again, but just, just, just being honest and open. So here we go. This is what we've got so far. Now what we're gonna do is, because this does mimic her, I think I've got her blue toned skin pretty spot on, I think, pretty much. Um, but I am now gonna add a bit of depth to the sides, either side here, because you can see that although we've got the blue, which is great, I just like to make these bits in the corner here look a bit more dramatic. So now I need to think about what colour I'm gonna do for that. I think maybe we should use that kind of dark grey colour that I had before. So I'm gonna put the tiniest amount on this brush because it will go everywhere. Um, but coffee and water, good Marie, well done. Coffee and water is good. Um, you definitely mean the alcoholic one, Scott, excellent. Yes, please do get water after you finish it. So anyway, I've got grey on this brush. I'm gonna put not too much on, and then I'm just gonna put 
some in this kind of upper bit here. I have hooded eyelids, so it's kind of easy to make it look like shaded or whatever. But um, super chill is the best super it is, my cat. But yeah, we're gonna put this up here. Oh God, pray for me, I hope this isn't too dark. There we go, that's fine. The music is so fucking good. So, the good thing about this grey is that actually it darkens the uh, tone without making it like completely black. So it does just look like a shadow, which is amazing. Okay. And I'm also going to add a little bit. I'm going to get a bit more in here. Oh, Roswald! Thank you for the super chat. Congratulations for your first makeup level up live stream, and here's to many more to come. Thank you, Roswald. Thank you so much. Yeah, hopefully. So, um,. Do you guys want to know another secret? Do you folks want to know another secret, my bad, sorry. Uh, the reason I'm doing a live stream today, instead of an edited video of Makeup Level Up, is because I set myself a super ambitious Makeup Level Up and it didn't go to plan. Um, so, okay, I'm so glad. I love Megara so much too, but it didn't go to plan. It was really ambitious and I sat down to do it and I started. And then I was like, oh, this is actually really difficult. So that's why I'm streaming today, because I didn't have time to film a second one, and I didn't bring the right makeup with me. So, uh, yeah. There you go. Second secret of the day. But yeah, so there we go. On that side, you can see now, if I move a little more onto the light, that we've now got shading on this side as compared to this one, which is just a flat colour. We've got shading that kind of like just makes it look a bit more dramatic overall, which I think Meg would appreciate. And to top it off, I'm just going to put a tiny bit of dark also up here, just in the corner of my eye. And just brush it upwards here into the middle. Because once again, this also adds extra depth to the look, but also look, it just makes it look that little extra bit dramatic. It just makes it look like you've got the light shining in the right places. Because otherwise, if you don't have shading like that, um, what you do with your makeup, it can look a little bit flat. So it's just good to have an extra bit of there. Oh, I'm glad. What did you all think of the... Um, what did you think of the live stream? Not the live stream even, the um, Resi stream pack, because uh, Roswald has just mentioned it. Last night at PAX, um, a episode, not an episode, a um, let's play of me, Aoife and Ian playing Resident Evil 7's Nightmare Mode went live. Uh, the Wave 1, and it was amazing. So uh, I, what did you think of it if you watched it? I saw Roswald liked it. But yeah, it was very hectic. There was a lot of screaming that went on. So I'm doing the same thing on this eye as well. So there, look, you can see the difference already. It makes such a big difference just having an extra bit of shading. It was very tense, Claire. Is that what you're talking about? Yes, it was. It was very tense. We are... Uh, honestly, I just... I. So usually I try and go last with horror things just because I'm not very... I'm quite a scaredy cat, so it's nice to be able to go last and... Uh, learn from Eva and Ian. But as soon as that stream happened, Eva was just like, Zoe, you're going next? And it was like, oh, okay, fine. Eva was amazing. She did well good in that. Uh, it was a really good stream. It was very fun to film. So do a bit more here just to bring it down. The sound of uh, my hand hitting my mic is very enjoyable, I know. And then we're gonna put, look, you can see the difference between these two. So much darker and so much like kind of Bella shade than this one. Even though it's running out of the side, looks great. Looks um, a little bit flat here, so I'm going to put some shading on the inside here too. There we go. There. I'm trying so hard not to cover my face with this mirror. Look, you can see me. You see me streaming? It's my little streaming software right there. I'm trying so hard not to cover it. So, this is the base, which is great. Um, and now... See, Megara's a classy girl, so we're gonna add a little bit of glitter to this look too. Um, I've got a kind of like silvery one here that I'm gonna put on. Oh no, I should put blue instead. I now have silver on my finger, but I'll just put that on my arm. But there's a very like navy blue here that's kind of the same as her blue sash she's got, you see on my finger? So I'm just gonna try and put that on the inside, on the right at the bottom here. And the reason it's you probably can't see it super well is because it's a really like navy blue, so I don't want to overstate it. Oh, okay. Let's be careful. 
there we go. See that very slight ombre of a kind of like navy on the inside? You can do the same to the other eye as well. Oh, and then we put that here too. Move this out of the way so I don't hit it. There we go, we've got a little bit of blue now. Ooh, and then we're going to put this, the yellow. Uh, it's not a makeup level up without glitter, it's not 64 bits, you got to have the glitter. Oh my god, this glitter is so... It, ugh, it's so heavy, I need to like dash this off on something because uh, I don't mean for all of that to go on my eye. I just have glittery thighs, that's fine. So now I'm going to put that just there. Can you see that? A little bit of glitter. Meg deserves it, goddammit, she's been through a lot. And then on the other eye as well, we're going to put some, oh, which means this needs to go down. There we go. The peril with glitter is that it gets absolutely everywhere. So I now have bits on my face right here that uh, are stuck. I'm going to be finding this in my hair for the next five days. But we've now got some glitter on the top. But yeah, so this, these are the base of the eyes. Um, I'm pretty much going to leave the eyeshadow like this just because I don't think it needs anything more. By the way, I have my hair tied back in like a teeny tiny ponytail to make sure it doesn't get in my eyes. Um, oh man, Scott L says I've only ever had makeup on for charity and Halloween. After the Halloween one, I forgot I had mascara on and went to you need the next day with it on. You do you, man. You have you can have mascara on if you want to. Thanks, Angela. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. So yeah, this is this. And now for the eyeliner. Um, Corvus. Ever considered doing a live stream of video game but with drinking rules? I think we've done some hang hungover Mario cards at some point on the channel. But, um, interesting, interesting thought. But yeah, the eyeliner I'm going to do, this is a pink eyeliner to match her whip. So we're going to do a whip eyeliner. We're going to try not to mess it up. Who doesn't want glittery things? This bit of music we're listening to now is called Drew Asphodel. And it's still Hades stuff because it's amazing. So I'm going to put this on first. I'm going to do a flick here. Oh god. And then I'm going to cover it through my lash line. So let's just we'll be careful. There we go. Usually I put an eyeliner with my like elbow resting on a table so this is quite nerve-wracking and then I'm just gonna put some of my lash line very carefully I'm concentrating because I've gone quiet for the first time in the longest time during the stream. It's always fun. Okay, go this way. There we go. So we've got some pink eyeliner there. Need the steadiest hand. And then we're going to flesh out as well. Oh. Did anyone try to romance Dusa in Hades? Because uh, I think most people went with um, Meg. But I'd be interested in what Dusa, if you can romance Dusa, because I know a lot of people are, like Dusa quite a lot. Okay, so we've got this there. Because I've got hooded eyelids, it's quite hard to like get eyeliner right. So I'm just going to be super careful with this. Let's do this here. God, I might have to put this down and just lean on the desk for a little bit to get this right. There we go. So we've got the whip-ish eyeliner there. Let me just bruise this up over here. By the way, it takes so much practice to get like... I'm, I'm trying so hard to stun myself in the eye. Hey, core boy! How are you doing? Um, but it takes to do this without resting my elbow has taken me literally maybe 15 years of practice to do so uh just just take it easy on yourself if you're not quite this level with eyeliner yet because it does take a while okay 
there's the other flick on that. So we've got eyeliner on this side, which you can see there. And then we're going to do the same on this side as well. Oh. Anonymous. Oh, Dalcom! I should try. I don't know who Red 13 is, but I know who Ocho is. I should try Ocho inspired makeup. That'd be such a sweet idea. You've actually just literally given me an idea for it by saying that I've already got an idea of something I'd love to do. It would obviously be like sunset palette coloured. With like a little 13 tattoo on the side or something. Oh. Oh man. Anonymous! Come on! Tut tut tut. And then do this here. I'm trying so hard to make sure you can still see what I'm doing when I do this because oh my god oh, it is quite the endeavour to stay steady with eyeliner and also have it on camera side oh oh she's asexually romantic oh yeah that might be it that's uh that sounds legit Mary I did kind of get that vibe from her she just seems super chill okay a bit more on this side the lash line and then let's beef up this pink a little bit There we go, pink eyeliner for the whip. Yeah, I think this is good. So like I said, this makeup look is not super hard. There's nothing really complicated that goes into it. There's no cut creases or anything like that. So it's definitely one that I think most of you should be able to pull off if you wanted to do something like that. I know, yeah, Claire. So we're waiting until we can get back in the office together before we finish the um, Final Fantasy 13 playthrough. No, 13? Final Fantasy 7 playthrough. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, Deuce is cute. I just love the fact that you kind of, you can put in all the time in Hades to romancing different characters and then like it's so interesting the way your relationship with them evolves because it's not always like falling in love or being in a relationship, like the kind of just like friendship you have with the mortars. I think it's really, really freaking cool. So now we're going to do some mascara. I'm not a massive fan of this mascara I have at the moment, but I don't know about you, but I'm the kind of person where once I spend money on something, I then have to use it all up, otherwise I feel really guilty. So not a big fan of this mascara, but oh well. Got her bottom lash mascara as well. <sighs> I hope you are noticing my makeup face that somehow appears when I ever look at myself in the mirror. Oh, hey, Joby Kenobi, how are you doing? Oh, Thanatos! Yeah, Thanatos Ray is lovely. Oh, hey, Grim! How are you doing? Grim, I am just... We don't have much more to go of this, so you came in at the right time. But hang on a second, I'm just doing my mascara. Oh. I've gone for a look based on Meg, Grim. I love her. She's my wife. I adore her. I've got pink eyeliner to mimic her wit. And then I've got some, uh, just one more thing to finish off and I'm done here. See, the thing is about playing all this Hades is that it makes me just want to have an Ambrosia, just drink Ambrosia all the time. I want to know what the fuss is about, goddammit. I want to know what it tastes like. This here. This here. Oh! Didn't stab myself in the eye yet. 
I didn't, Marie. No spoilers, but I do want to know what happens there. I do want to know what happens there. See, you've just given me an excuse to play it all over again now, Marie. Good job. Okay, that was literally covering my entire eye, so I forgot my rule. Okay, so there's the mascara. And now we have one more finishing touch to finish off this look. And like I said, this is saying, this is keeping it super simple. Nothing really advanced, just because I wanted to make sure that A, it was one I could do on a stream uh, in a certain amount of time, and B, because it just means that you can all be your best Meg now after watching this. Mmm. Thank you, Grim. So we're listening to the Lament of Orpheus now. Which I think you can get, yeah, when you actually convince him to sing or something. I have some hot pink lipstick to finish this off. Well, that's very pink. Yeah, hydrate everyone. Make sure you stay hydrated. It's super hot. Okay, don't worry. I am definitely not covering my mouth with the mirror. Definitely not. I think I very, very rarely wear um oh. It's very rare for me to wear hot pink lipstick, so this is an experience for me. Oh god. doing lipstick is that I literally can't talk while I'm doing it. Oh man. No Corvus! That's not hydration! That's not hydration at all. Tut 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 tut. But yeah. So this is, uh, this is basically it. Let me just undo my hair with the weird ponytail I have going on. Oh. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, this is the special live episode of Makeup Level Up's version of Megara. Um, from Hades, as you'll see, so what I've tried to do is make this a fairly like easy one just to make sure that if you wanted to, you could replicate it at home. We've just got some depth to our grey eyeshadow at the top with a diamond shape that you associate with Meg and her amazing eyelashes. We've then also got the pink eyeliner on the top that's meant to mimic her pink whip and of course hot pink lipstick to mimic the whip as well. Now there's definitely like a more advanced version of this look that I had an idea for that I wanted to do so I might do that in the future at some point but um this is, this is basically it. We're done, pretty much. I hope you're all staying hydrated. Um, if you enjoyed the stream, do forget, don't for, do forget, do not forget to like and subscribe to Eurogamer. Um, and you can also follow me on uh, Twitch and Twitter at Zoe underscore Dales on Instagram too. Um, and as always, please make sure you stay hydrated. And uh, I, we, me, <laughs> can you tell it's hot? Because honestly, it's frying my brain at the moment. Me, Aoife and Ian will see you all next week. I hope you have a lovely evening, everyone. Thank you so much for turning up for the first ever Makeup Level Up livestream, and I will see all of you next week. Goodbye. <laughs>